The Ministry of Philip Philip went to the city of Samaria and preached Christ. The people of the city received the gospel, including Simon, who had led the people in witchcraft. Peter and John went to Samaria to meet with these new believers. They prayed with the people, laying their hands on them so they could receive the Holy Spirit. Simon was amazed. He offered Peter and John money. Give me this power so I can lay my hands on people and they'll receive the Holy Spirit. Peter said, You'll be destroyed along with your money. You're still holding to your old ways. Evil lies within you. Pray and ask God to get rid of it. Oh, please pray for me. I I don't want these things to happen. After Peter and John went back to Jerusalem, an angel of God told Philip to go to a road south of Jerusalem. There he saw an official of Ethiopia. He was reading from one of the prophets who had written about Christ several hundred years before. He invited Philip to explain it to him. Philip got into the chariot and told him about Jesus and the forgiveness of sins. The man said, Look, there's some water. May I be baptized right now? I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Philip baptized him, and as soon as the man came out of the water, he saw that Philip was gone. The Spirit had taken him away. The Conversion of Saul Saul was going to Damascus to hunt down believers of Jesus. Suddenly a bright light shone around them, and Saul fell to the ground. He heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you fighting against me? Who are you, Lord? I'm Jesus, the one you're persecuting. Lord, what do you want me to do? Go into the city, and you'll be told what to do. Saul was now blind, so others led him into the city. He waited three days, refusing to eat or drink anything. The Lord spoke to a disciple named Ananias. Go to a certain house and ask for Saul of Tarsus. Place your hands on him, and he'll regain his sight. He's a chosen servant of mine. Ananias found Saul and placed his hands on his head. Uh, Regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately Saul could see. He was baptized and then had some food. Saul spent several days with the believers in Damascus. And then he started preaching that Jesus was the Son of God. People were amazed because they knew he had come there to kill followers of Jesus. To begin your relationship with God, just repeat this prayer. Dear God, I admit that I have done things that are against your will for me and that I want to have a relationship with you. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe in my heart that Jesus died and rose again to take away my sin. And I declare Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be faithful to do what you ask me to do. Thank you for saving me and letting me become your child. Please speak to me and help me to hear your voice and to follow the way you want me to live. I look forward to spending time with you both here on earth and in heaven. Thank you for saving me and thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen.